गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मेटोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन फोर्टी सेवन एस्फेरिकल गैस बबल ऑफ रेडियस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एम एम इज एंट्रेप इन ए मोल्टन स्टील हेल्ड एट सेवनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री कैलवेन इफ द प्रेशर आउटसाइड द बबल इज वन पॉइंट फाइव बार द प्रेशर इन साइड द बबल इज इट इज गिवन दैट वन बार is equal to 10 raised to power 5 pascals and the surface tension of the steel at 1773 kelvin is 1.5 newton per meter now in the question it is given that there is a spherical gas bubble okay that is entrapped in a molten steel now let us assume that there is this bubble that is entrapped in the molten steel let us say the radius is r radius of this bubble is r the surface tension that is acting on this bubble is sigma s okay so we are required to find what is the pressure inside the bubble okay let us say pi and po pi represent inside pressure po represents outside pressure r is the radius and that is the surface tension now if we look at the free body diagram of this bubble it will look somewhat like this i have taken half the bubble now you can see there are two surface inside surface and outside surface okay this is the ideal case where both inside and outside surface are in touch with air okay so in that case it will consist of a film with two surfaces so there will be two circumferences in the cross section okay so there will be two times the surface energy understood but in our case the outside surface of the bubble is not in touch with air okay because this bubble is entrapped in the molten steel okay so we will consider instead of two we will consider only one surface which is in touch with air that is the inside surface okay so uh, so here the surface tension uh, will act along the circumference uh, what is the circumference it is 2 pi r okay into the surface tension fine so that is the force that is acting circumferentially while the pressure will act on the area okay and the area is pi r square it is pi r square and what is the pressure net pressure that is the difference of inside and outside pressure understood unless these two are not equal the bubble won't be stable if the pressure difference is higher the bubble tends to expand its size and if the surface tension doesn't support the expansion in size the bubble is going to collapse so in order for the bubble to be stable the balance between these two forces is important understood so we are required to find the pressure inside the bubble although the pressure outside the bubble is given to be 1.5 bar 1.5 bar the radius of the bubble is given to be 0.01 mm and the surface tension is 1.4 newton per meter so here the units are important because we need the pressure in terms of bar while the surface tension is given in terms of newton per meter okay so we have to be careful about the units here uh, we can further simplify this equation uh, delta p comes out to be if you further simplify this delta p will come out to be 2 times sigma s by r okay 
uh, where delta p is nothing but p inside minus p outside. So p inside is nothing but p outside plus 2 sigma by r. So p inside is nothing but p outside plus 2 sigma by r. Now putting the values, we will get p inside comes out to be 1.5 is the outside pressure in terms of bar. 2 times sigma is 1.4 Newton per meter. Radius is 0.01 mm. So we have to convert it into meter. So minus 3, 10 raised to power minus 3. This whole expression, this whole expression should have a unit of bar. So we have to divide by 10 raised to power 5. We have to divide it by 10 raised to power 5 because Pascal is nothing but Newton per meter square. So 1 Pascal is 10 raised to power minus 5 bar. Okay. So either divide by 10 raised to power minus 5 or you can multiply by 10 raised to power minus 5. Both are same. Okay. So if you further simplify it, the value you will get is the inside pressure is 4.3 bar. Okay, that is the answer. 4.3 bar this is the inside pressure of the bubble that is entrapped in a molten steel. To know more about the concept of the surface tension and the inside pressure of the bubble, kindly refer module 1 lecture 6 introduction to fluid mechanics and fluid engineering by professor s chakraborty department of mechanical engineering iit kharagpur